We're going to be doing a really quick video on my approach to altered mental status. And this is a mnemonic that probably a lot of people have heard of. But if you haven't heard, this is a good thing to put to memory. And if you've heard it before, it's a good review. For more educational resources, like our medical ID cards, check out medicalbasics.com. So every single letter, it's the mnemonic of AEIOU tips, and every single letter stands for a different thing. So the first thing is going to be alcohol and acidosis. And so alcohol is a very obvious reason why that could cause you to be altered. Acidosis, you can either have respiratory or metabolic acidosis. Respiratory, uh, due to something that may reduce your respirations or metabolic due to lactic acidosis or diabetic ketoacidosis or even uh, renal impairment. And we'll see that a lot of these different things will overlap with one another, but it's just a good approach to think about different things. So E can stand for a lot of different things, endocrine, electrolytes, encephalopathy. You can imagine that endocrine, there can be many different causes, any type of thyroid disorder, any type of issue with cortisol, uh, but also thinking about diabetic ketoacidosis, I think is the, the one that they're, they're most commonly referring to, that and probably any type of thyroid disorder. Electrolytes, most commonly going to be dealing with anything uh, with sodium, whether it be hyponatremia or hypernatremia, you can have issues with altered mental status with both of those. And then encephalopathy can be due to a wide variety of things, which will go pretty well with infection. It can be a common cause of encephalopathy. And you can imagine that this can be infection that's either within the brain, like with it, abscesses or something that can be like a viral encephalopathy that can affect the brain directly, or it can actually be infections just in the body itself that can cause sepsis and cause you to be altered in addition as just one of the symptoms. Opioids and oxygen are going to be the next thing. And this goes back also to our acidosis, right? When we have opioids, we have decreased uh, respirations and it can lead to acidosis, the respiratory acidosis. And as well as if you're having hypoxemia, if you're not having good perfusion to the brain for a variety of reasons would cause you to be altered. You can just think of it when you um, are holding your breath and you start to get dizzy, that can cause you to be just a very severe version of that can cause you to be altered. Uremia, going back to when we were talking about some causes of metabolic acidosis, you can have renal impairment. So any type of renal impairment that can cause you to have severe uremia can lead to this altered mental status. And also uh, one of the other indications uh, for dialysis, which I'll talk about in another video. T is a very important one. Uh, trauma is pretty obvious, pretty, going to be pretty altered when you're in, in, in a trauma. But I think the most important one or the more important one of the T's is going to be the tumor. I think it's something that's commonly overlooked, um, but is very important, especially depending on the patient that you have. If you're dealing with a patient who has, let's say, um, a long-standing history of t some type of cancer and they now become altered, you're going to want to think of metastasis. You're going to want to think of some type of space-occupying lesion that's going to be causing them to have have this altered mental status. And then insulin is going to be another thing. This, it's, uh, I want to say, they're, they're thinking of DKA or, or also hypoglycemia. So it, this is kind of goes in both directions. I didn't make the mnemonic, so I'm not entirely sure what they're referring to, but insulin, probably DKA and hypoglycemia are going to be your most common causes of altered mental status in, in kind of the two spectrums. P for pharmacology as well as poison. So different types of drugs can cause you to become altered, whether or not they cause you, like in opioids, to cause you to have a respiratory depression, or whether or not they just cause you to be altered. It can go both ways. So definitely always keep this in your back pocket, but I don't think this is going to be one that you're going to be forgetting. And then finally, the S, like we mentioned before, uh, sepsis as a cause for infection. Uh, we can also have stroke and seizures as well, which kind of leads back to this as well. So you can kind of think of this as your general approach to altered mental status. I think it's a, a good, a very broad overview. Primarily, I think this is important when someone's pimping you and they want you to give their give your approach to altered mental status. This is kind of just what I go to uh, when someone asks me that. Um, in practice, I think that it's just a good way to think about different things that may cause you to become altered. Be sure to check out our website, medicalbasics.com, for more educational resources like our progress notebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and lessons.